Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a dinosaur landscape using foreground, middle ground, and background. I take three fingers at the bottom on the left hand side and I put a dot. <clears throat> and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal up, a curve line around, curve line in, and stop, leave that floating. Come in about right here and let's just draw another straight diagonal down off the page. Come inside, we're going to do one dot, two dots, come down a little bit, we're going to do one little straight line, two little straight lines, and we're going to add a big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line across, jump over, straight line across, off the page. I come down to this space right about here and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy curve line, wavy, wavy curve line up and over to the right hand side and off the page. I come right here on the center and I'm going to draw straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down come in towards the bottom and now I'm going to draw a big straight diagonal up and I'm going to go zigzag, 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 straight diagonal down, connect, come up about midpoint, let's draw a straight diagonal up, down, straight diagonal up, down. Right here at the top of this I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and at the end I'm going to write one baby circle, two, three, four, five baby circles. Right next to it on the right I do a skinny wavy wavy line across, over, and connect. Come right here on that wavy line and draw a big curve line over, connect, and let's draw one, two, well I don't know, it could be different for all of you, little straight lines all the way down and let's put one dot and another dot. Over here on the right hand side I'm just going to go wavy line out, wavy line in, come over on the left hand side, wavy line out, wavy line in, connect. My last thing I'm going to add, two last things, little curve line, 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 little curve line. On top of my diagonals, I'm just going to add little straight lines up and over all the way, jump over, up, over, all the way, little straight lines, this is just to add a little texture all the way down. And one more thing, right here on this space, right here I'm going to do a wavy line up, down, up, down, connect. Okay, I think that is all. Now we're ready to color. Okay, when you color or when you draw foreground, middle ground, and background, the thing that is closest to you as the viewer, this part is the foreground. That's this dinosaur. So I'm going to color my dinosaur green. You can color yours whatever color you want, but I'm going to start off with my light green. And the foreground is so close, he's so big. He doesn't even fit in my picture. He falls off and the rest of them is way over there. Then I took blue and this again is in the foreground and this is water. And again, it's so big 
it's continuing over here somewhere on a picture part that you can't even see. So I made this dark blue and now I did this section around him brown and this is important because this is going to be my connecting color to my middle ground which is my mountains and my volcano right here. So the biggest part is your foreground you go back a little bit and now the middle ground you can see a little bit farther off in the distance. Now on my middle ground I'm going to do some light to dark coloring. First I take my yellow and I just draw straight lines on my spaces. I come in next with some orange and next to or even over it's okay. I draw more straight lines so my mountains are going to be striated colors and then I take my brown the same brown I'm using here on my foreground I now color over my mid ground my middle ground okay so these mountains and this volcano are in the middle ground they're not as close as the dinosaur that's why he's so big but you can still pretty much figure out what that middle ground looks like. Okay? I come up and I do my little circles here brown for my explosion. And now I take my orange and I do a little bit inside my volcano. I take my yellow and I do my little parts that are spewing out and finally I take my or uh, excuse me my red and I color in my lava so this is red so foreground middle ground and using that same color brown as my connecting color so it all kind of goes together and now I do the background this is the part that is farthest away from you as the viewer so everything's getting smaller so I'm going to color my sky purple just because I want to, not because you have to. You can color your sky any color you want, but I did mine purple. And now I'm going to come in with my yellow and I'm going to color my sun in my background farthest away. I'm going to do my little rays yellow. I'm going to come back to my volcano and I'm going to do some orange lines and maybe even a red one here and there for my explosion. So when something is closest to you that's the foreground. The next step farther away is your middle ground and far far away is your background. Um, so let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my dinosaur landscape all colored in, foreground, middle ground, background. And what I might do is I might make a new uh, playlist with using different foreground, middle ground, and background examples on how to make your artwork look more interesting. Okay, bye-bye.